We're going to do the startup of the Derma Press Brake model number ADS3175 with the Dellum DA66T controller. So we turn on the main breaker, wait 15 seconds. And on the back side of the control cabinet, we have a backside reset. That's for the light curtain in the back. You want to reset that so it's a solid yellow light. The button that we just pressed in the back, that's your safety reset, so that's these light curtains. And the way they work is you have an emitter and then you have a receiver. So it shoots off a beam over to the other side and if you break that beam, then it locks out your back side back gauges so they don't move. And we come back up to our control and wait for our control to start up. Usually takes about a minute to load everything. Load all your parameters. Okay, you're gonna get a whole bunch of alarms and everything. That's because we haven't done anything. So we want to have the e-stop. We want to reset the e-stop. Our AKS just, we want off. Our working mode, we want on auto. Uh, reset the front side. So the front side is for our doors, for our uh, safety curtains. And then also when you reset your front side, it gets rid of a bunch of errors and you have an overrun test. It starts flashing. Now we want to turn on our hydraulics. Hydraulics get a solid green light and we go ahead and push the start button on the controller. Uh, we have to be a manual and start button on the controller. Your back gauge goes back, finds its home position. The ram goes to the top calibrates at the home position. Once your fingers come in, then your machine is ready to do our overrun test. That is our safety stop. So the way to clear that out is you push and hold the pedal. Your ram's gonna come down, stop fast. It's gonna hang there for a couple seconds and then go back up. And now all this time we wanna keep holding onto the pedal until it goes back up. And remove my blocks. Okay, now my blocks are out of the way, and now I can do my test overrun. Comes down, hits, goes back up, and I can release the pedal. Now my test overrun is a solid green light. That means my safety for uh, my finger protection is good. And now we're ready to run the product. Got our uh, e stop with a key on it, so uh, if we wanted to, we can have the e stop in. We can take our key out and we can walk away, and nobody can come up and start up this machine and run it. It's kind of a lockout s system for the operator itself. Uh, so we have to put the key back in, and, and we can turn it, and now we can unlock our e stop. Uh, the black button on the top, that is our ram up button, so if the machine was running and we're hanging down and we wanted to go up, push and hold that button, our ram will go up. Uh, we have a two-stage foot pedal. Uh, you push down it, push down on it until you get a little bit of resistance, that's our uh, bending, uh, bending trigger. So if you push down it on it even harder, that's called the dead man switch. What that is for is if you're running material and you fall forward into the brake, your foot will come down and kick that dead man switch and your machine will stop and not hurt you. That's the point of that. To reset the dead man switch, you push the blue button, you hear it click, and we're reset. Okay, now we're going to go through the shutdown procedure. Uh, so we got done running our program, uh, running our job. At the end of the day, we're going to shut down. Uh, most customers, what we like to do is we bring it down our tooling into our bottom dies, and we rest it all in that way. Obviously, we don't have any tooling in our, in our bottom die in, so we have blocks. So we'll set them on blocks. And we 
we come over to manual and we flip our key to adjust and we changed our field so we need to reset our barriers and we start our program. Once our back gauges get into position then we hold the pedal and we only have slow speed coming down which is what we want because we're just resting it on blocks so we don't want it to come down fast. Go ahead and put our blocks in. I keep lowering it down. And now we're sitting on top of our blocks. Nice and solid. Now we can shut her down. So we stop our hydraulic pump. Hit her e-stop, and turn off our main power, and that is the shutdown.